What's up guys, welcome back. Today's look is gonna be on this smoky eye tutorial and I wanted to keep it somewhat simple and approachable, something without lashes, nothing too crazy hard on the eyes. So no lashes, just mascara. And by the way, how are we liking the new background? I didn't even uh, uh, talk about it in the last video, but yeah, I got a new background. I switched it up between like a regular backdrop and then sometimes I have this cute little thing. So let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments below and let's get started with this look. So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using all high-end designer products. So if you think that most of these products are out of your range, don't worry, I will have some affordable makeup tutorials listed in the description box. So starting off with my YSL Touche Claw Foundation and getting this all over my skin using my Beauty Blender. For my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Clay Depot Concealer. This is one of my favorites. Applying this under my eyes as well as the center of my skin because I do like to highlight using this product as well. Now to contour, I'll be using this Chanel bronzer. I haven't used this in ages. Um, it is a little on the lighter side, so I'm just applying this all over, but I think I'm gonna darken it a little bit later using like a darker shade, just cause I feel like this is too close to my skin tone. So now going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is just the darker shade, so I'm just kind of going over it, and as you can see, the shade is so much darker, so this is gonna properly contour. So you basically wanna apply this on the hollows of your cheeks, sides of the nose, forehead, jawline, anywhere you want to contour. So once you've got your highlight and contour shades on, then you wanna go ahead and blend it in place. So today I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend everything in place. Now to set this makeup in place, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I am kind of strategic on where I apply this. I don't apply it all over my face. I just apply it under my eyes and then right under the hollows of my cheeks, kind of the center of my face. And then of course, dust it away. For my blush, I'm using this Bobbi Brown blush and it is called Sand Pink Number no. 1. It's so pretty. So I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheeks and then taking it up. All right, moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Eye Tints and the first color that I'm using is number 12. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going in with a flat brush and kind of blending everything in place. So these tints, if you guys are not familiar with them, Giorgio Armani had a total of six, which were like really cool runway inspired shimmery shades, but they've recently launched another six, which are the neutral matte shades. So I'm kind of mixing all of these together and creating a smoky eye. So so now I'm going in with an all matte shade and this is from the new collection and this is number 21. So I'm just applying this all over my eyelids and then blending in place with a fluffy brush. So I'm using that same shade number 21 and applying it on my bottom lash line and then blending it in place again using a fluffy brush. So I'm going to start layering a little bit more because these guys are super cool for layering. They like blend very well and so to layer one more color i'm using number 22 it's a very pretty plum color and applying it directly on the lid and as you can see it just creates such a nice warm tone to it and then the last color that i'm going to layer is number 20 which is a little bit darker and i'm just going to concentrate this color on the outer corners of my eyes so you want to just blend everything in place until it looks nice and seamless and as you can see, I'm using both shimmery shades and matte shades to create this look. And I did wear this all day, so they're definitely long lasting and it didn't really budge throughout the day, which was really nice. So then to apply my mascara, I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani mascara. And this was my first time trying this. The stuff is so good. It's definitely very volumizing. And then lastly, to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with my YSL Volupe Shine Lipstick in number 44, and then I'm just gonna line the outer corners using my Dior Lip Liner. that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I totally forgot to tell you that I was recently on TV and I was so 
freaking excited. And if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you probably don't know this. And I wanted to kind of like share my excitement here too. It was on the Hallmark channel on the Home and Family show. It was really cool. I was on for like a while too. So I don't know. I just wanted to let you guys know on that. <laughs> You're like, okay, we don't care, but thanks for the info. Anyways, that's going to conclude this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And also let me know in the comments below if you like my background, guys. It's different. I like it. It take, took me like a while to kind of set everything. So if you appreciate it, let a girl know. Okay, I'm talking too much. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. Give me some thumbs. I'm obsessed with this hair length. If it ever grows, I'm going to go and chop it again. Because I just love short hair on me. Like, why don't I like long hair anymore on me?